Well, I'm here with Christy Ruth, and we're going to talk through another uh, just way that we're emerging from the pandemic and how ministry shifted during and how it's shifting now as things are opening back up and just a different perspective. Uh, we got a little bit of lead pastor perspective from Kyle, and now we're getting an associate pastor perspective uh, and, and just trying to just think about ways that we can all be um, just focused on ministry now in this season. But for you, as you as you were maneuvering through the pandemic, so it's, it's a year ago now, uh, we had lots of phone calls on, like, how do we set up cameras in the space and all those fun things. But uh, for you, as you look back on the year, you know, what were some of the biggest shifts for you in, in your role and in your job and in, and in the church for you guys? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I'm probably the one that called you the most <laughs> on trying to figure out how to, to navigate this. I think some of the biggest things that we realized for us here at uh, Peoria Naz is we were not ready for an online presence. And, you know, we may have been behind uh, the eight ball on that, but for us, it wasn't necessarily a focus. And so one of the things that shifted in the pandemic was we kind of immediately had to go to an online presence. And that's where I, where I kept calling you, um, trying to figure out how to effectively do that. Um, and it is not, not a strong suit of mine. And so I feel like, it, you know, it's been a year, but I can remember a year ago, March, going, what is going on? And just, just trying to muddle through, thinking, okay, we're going to, once we get set up and we get that live stream dialed in, then it's just a matter of kind of doing that for a few weeks until mm -hmm. things settle down. So uh, one of the biggest shifts for us was creating that online presence and trying to not just navigate it, but then really use it well as a ministry tool. I say muddle through because we just didn't have the insight. I mean, none of us really did. That it would take so long. Yeah. And for us, for me, in in my role, there's there's all sorts of little components, you know, and cog spinning. And I was I felt like for a year I've been muddling through it with great prayer, Lord. This is this is what I have, and can you make something of it? So it was interesting to watch how much that put me into just a dependence on, you know, it's the Lord's kingdom. He's advancing it. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm being allowed to be part of it. So I have to really kind of walk and trust that things are still moving along in the kingdom. And it sounds silly, but I think for a while we get so used to our own niches that we just kind of trust in that a little bit. So for me, it was like I had to be okay with being uncomfortable. And I, I'm i kind of glad I didn't know last March that it would be a year because I would have just – I might have just <laughs> – resigned. So, I don't know. Yeah. So I, I feel like great, great things have come out of it, but it really still feels like just muddling through um, that it, it constantly felt like a little bit of a mess mm -hmm. trying to work it out. I know you were juggling, you know, Sunday services and getting the online presence there. What did that look like for you as far as you also are doing youth and, and young adults and, and all of that? And so for you, was that uh, did you make the shift online there? Do, how how are you trying to focus in on ministry in sure. that role too? Initially, when uh, back in March, when things uh, really kind of locked down, we did kind of what everybody did, and it was well, I think everybody, I don't know, is <laughs> we went to a Zoom format for the youth and for our young adults. And it was interesting to watch how or if that was going to kind of catch on. I think it was the best that we had to offer. Um, just before the shutdown, I met with my youth staff and said, hey, listen, it looks like this is coming. Um, let's kind of divvy up students and make sure we're each checking in on them so they know they're not forgotten. This is, we're going to make it through this. Um, and then to, to create and reformat what fellowship and worship look like online. It's very different. Mm. Um, so we juggled that for as long as we could. And, and I found the young adults actually got into it um, pretty well as, as a way to connect to one another. Mm. Um, so for us, that was, you know, that was enough. Plus, 
we all have computers in our hands with our phones. And so we just tried to reach out to one another um, and then carry on from there. I mean, it progressed eventually, but that was initially how we dealt with it. Uh, I know as associate pastors, you know, we, um, our roles shift a lot and we, we go from being, you know, youth ministry to youth in college. Uh, now I'm family pastor and I think you're pretty much acting in that role as well too. Uh, and so for you, um, what, what were some of the ways that your role within the staff had to change too? Cause I know, I know for me, you know, uh, yeah, I was kind of always over tech, uh, for turning leaf, but th- that wasn't as big of a deal, uh, pre COVID as it was. Uh, once the lockdown hit, you know, and I, I joked that I didn't sleep that first month of, of oh. all of that, just trying to figure out and, and navigate all of that. But but for you, I know your role had to had to kind of morph into uh, some new things as well. How did you feel like, you know, all of that is? And then is it staying kind of in that new realm or do you feel like it's going to start shifting back now that we're coming out of that? Uh, yeah, I feel like the shifting of roles happened um, out of necessity, and it became more of the brainstorming role. So how do we best use the resources we have, and what can we still do? So that became a lot more focused on um, how are we connecting with people, especially during the first part of where we were shut down. Um, then it shifts again as we start being able to kind of open up and do smaller groups and then a little bit larger. I think moving forward, probably the wisest thing to take from this is the idea that it should be continual conversation. How are we doing this well? Um, And what are the best uses of our resources? That, That space that it allowed us to just kind of stop and think through what we were doing I believe was very beneficial. I I hope that continues um, in kind of my own ministry philosophy to allow myself the space to do that because it will kind of catapult us forward, I think, a little bit more and hopefully not just kind of stay stuck in something because it's familiar. So that that's one of the ways, you know, the role kind of shifted because it, it just became b- a bigger a question how do we it's not just how do we do the summer ministries it's how are we staying connected to people and offering ways for them to connect with Jesus so that shifts I mean it, again it was kind of muddling through like some weeks that looked different some weeks it was we got to call the people who don't use email or mm-hmm. uh, you know yeah. and some of that by the way is the younger students they don't yeah. use email right. um and then some of it's, you know, groups that are uh, not used to the technology. So uh, I, hopefully what continues is that conversation and how are we best using the resources for this church in our circumstance. So for you, as you, as you kind of think back to the whole last year and where you're at now, um, is there something that you're looking to... Um, to kind of start now or to to implement now that things are opening back up or something that you wanted to do that you're finally getting to do now that things are now that we're kind of emerging from all of uh, of that is there something that you're looking forward to just getting back into or or being able to do that you weren't able to do before um that actually is a really good question some of i think moving forward is still that we're processing what that looks like Mm -hmm. and kind of thinking through uh, to not get ahead of ourselves, but be looking forward. For my role, what I want to see is helping equip our, not just our leadership, but j- just any of our community that are are seeing ways in which they can minister, like creative ways to go about ministry and reaching out to the the area of Peoria we're in. So for me, I am kind of looking forward to some of the, um, you know, the group meetings now that are, are opening up a little bit more, but not just to me, but to kind of hear and allow people to express what they feel God is, is moving and doing in at the moment. And then, you know, kind of see where that goes out from there. So, um, we have some small groups meeting now, and I I love the idea of them kind of digging in together and 
um, and seeing, you know, that they haven't really lost connection. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that's great. And then just seeing the, the door open up for more conversation, um, in order to really kind of equip some people to go out and do, um, do ministry. One of the, can I tell yeah, a yeah. quick story? One of the ways that played out is we had one of our youth staff ended up in the hospital, and he um, he was struggling for a bit. It was before we could go into mm -hmm. the hospitals, and our youth group we all decided, and and the young adults um, that we would take turns, and we knew he had a cell phone in there. Um, funny thing, it was, it wasn't even a smartphone, but the <laughs> yeah. flip phone worked, right. and um, we knew that his wife was actually, she had been out of the country visiting family when the shutdown happened. So mm -hmm. he was alone in the hospital, and his wife wasn't even in the country. Mm -hmm. So they decided we know he has his flip phone, and we, we just took an hour um, throughout the day to just text and and give him an encouraging note or a scripture or and I loved watching the students just kind of click in on that like oh that's great I don't know that we they would have thought to do that um, mm -hmm. prior to and so it created kind of a fun energy of well what could we do you know we can't go in and see him mm -hmm. and so it was really fun and it was great because <laughs> I, we were discussing it afterwards and he just talked about how great it was and then he kind of gave them a hard time about now that phone wouldn't stop beeping because uh, we were checking in on him. And I, I just found that was kind of the start of, of ways to be creative and knowing, hey, God's still at work with us trying to connect to him and love others. Mm -hmm. And it just might look a little bit different, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Well, thanks for just taking a few minutes and, uh, and hanging out and talking yeah. about ministry and uh, I think it'll be good for conversations just to see how associates are, are navigating through uh, with their lead pastors and everything, too. So, yeah. Thanks. Can I say I'm super grateful that one of the things that did emerge was that I not be put in charge <laughs> of online <laughs> presence. And we had a retired pastor here yeah. who took that on, and I loved his approach. The philosophy was, you know, one step at a time. Right. Um, to not get overwhelmed with the change and just start tackling things as we can and then working to make that better and better. And it, I mean, it shifted something in my own personal ministry right. to remember that. And, and then, man, I was grateful that Pastor Rob took over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ours evolved every week. We were adding something new for those first right? three months or four months there. Just, you know, this worked for this week and how can we make it better this next week and yeah. just keep improving the little things as we went. So what we're using now is not anywhere close to what we were using uh, those first few months. And I so. think that's great. It's, yeah. it is like kind of, um, it makes it less overwhelming, but it keeps pushing us forward. And I, I love that. So, uh, and I really love that I'm not in charge of any of the electronics. Uh, we'll be good, so.